on Sugar Girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe, it will be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for your overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. And without any further ado, we are going to get into tonight's messages. Okay, guys? So let's get some overall energy to see what's going on with the collective spirits please give me clear and accurate messages okay so the first message we have here we have a couple stuck together here we have as long as i know how to love i know i'll stay alive here okay somebody could have been going through some very difficult things okay in your life okay and you're just telling yourself long as you love yourself long as you know how to love you know you'll stay alive you know you'll get through what you're going through here we also have psalms uh 23 here the lord is my shepherd i shall not want here okay some of you have been going through something where you feel alone you feel without um um, you could feel like you are lacking of, of finances, money, resources right now or whatever, okay? You could be single. You could be feeling lonely by yourself here, okay? But I feel like someone, you're holding on because you continue to love yourself. You continue to strive forward here, okay? And you, um, I feel like you're someone who clings on to Psalms uh, 23 here where the Lord is, you know, the Lord is your shepherd and you know... Um, um, regardless to what you are lacking in this materialistic world in which we live in, you shall not want, okay? So you may not have everything that you desire, but you don't necessarily want for anything that you need. That's a necessity here, okay? We have moving to a new house or of your dreams here, okay? So I feel like... Uh, I feel like things that you may not even be able to foresee is um, going to come in for you. You could be moving to a new home, okay? This could be the home of your dreams. Maybe you've never had a home of your own before, okay? You could be moving to a nicer neighborhood, a nicer community, clean, quiet area or something. You could be getting your first home here, okay? Whether you are buying a home, you have been... Um, 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 gifted a home in some type of way, like you were in, you know, you're inheriting a home or something. Somebody's getting a new house. You're moving into a new house, whether you're renting, renting to own, you're buying, or you're inheriting a house. Somebody is moving to a house. And I feel like this is happening for someone who um, you've been alone and on your own for quite some time. Okay. The struggle is definitely real for you. Okay. But, um, You've held on to your faith, you've had courage, and um, you keep striving to do the best that you can, okay, with what you have. Spirit, what other messages do we have? What else is going on with the collective here, okay? Got a lot of cards in this deck, guys, okay? Okay, we have one that flip over here. We have giving to the less fortunate here, okay? I feel like you could be someone who um, is very giving, very loving, um, giving affectionate to others, especially the less fortunate. And I feel like this could be why um, you know how to love, even if you don't get that love in return here. Because I do feel like I'm speaking to someone who is lonely, someone who hasn't experienced real, unconditional, true love, okay? But um, you still give to the less fortunate. And you could be someone that's kind of less fortunate yourself, but what you have to give, you share with others here, okay? We have here important information. I feel like you could be getting some type of messages, news, information, or communication that is going to be important to you here, okay? This could have something to do about this new house, okay? Um, someone could be giving unto you, okay? This giving to the less fortunate, um, uh, you could fall along the lines of less fortunate. Somebody may want to be uh, giving to you, okay? Um, 
a gift of generosity or of some kind, okay? We have here giving him or her something he or she can feel, honey, okay? Um... So for those of you who are come uh, who are coupled up, honey, you giving him something he could feel. He could be giving you something you could feel, or or something like that. This is right up under moving to uh, a new house of your dreams. Okay, so you could be moving in with your lover, with your partner, or something. Okay, or. Um, maybe somebody is going to give you something that's going to, is going to be very heartfelt, make you feel something here. Okay. And it could have something to do with this house. We also have dream big here. Okay. So I feel like your hopes, wishes, and dreams coming is, is, are, are coming true. You've been dreaming, um, about specific things you want in your life. It's very interesting that this came out considering the fact we have moving to the, uh, a new house of your dreams here okay so somebody has been uh, dreaming about something okay and um you are dreaming big and i feel like something a dream of yours is coming true for you okay we have copycats stealing your work here okay so if you're someone um if you have some type of talent skill ability whether you uh have a specific trade, a hobby, something you do as a career or something. You have copycats out here who are trying to steal your work here. Whatever it is you do, you could paint, you could draw, you could write. Um, you could be a content creator of some kind. You could do tarot. You could do whatever type of work you do. There are copycats who are trying to steal your work, okay? This sits right up under uh, important information, okay? Somebody could be sending you some type of important information pertaining to these copycats who are stealing your work or trying to steal your work in some type of way here, okay? Spirit, please give me uh, further information for the collective. What else does the collective need to know? Okay. We have mean and surly here, okay? Somebody that's a copycat that's stealing your work um, could be uh, very mean, very surly, could be a bully. Um um, this person is competing with you in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion here. This person is mean. This is surly here, okay? Um, or this person is mean and surly in some type of way, okay? Um, th this person, um, maybe somebody that you, you know, personally, this may be somebody who is competing with you, okay? Who uh, calls themselves working against you in some type of way here, okay? But I feel like you are either in contact with somebody who is mean and surly or somebody could be in your life, in your family, around you in some type of way who is mean and surly in some type of way. But I definitely, with the sitting right here next to copycats stealing your work, Okay, this definitely could be someone who is in competition with you in some type of way here, okay? This also could be a parent or someone who is mean and surly to you, okay? Spirit, please give me further information about this, okay? We have here dad be dad. Uh, yeah, deadbeat baby daddies here, okay? So you definitely could be dealing with some type of deadbeat baby daddy, okay? You could be having some problems with your baby's father or your, your baby's sperm donor here because if they're a deadbeat, they're probably a deadbeat for a reason. They're not taking care of their children um, or anything. You're having to take care of your children by yourself. You don't get any help. You don't get any child support or anything. You've been struggling and on your own for a long time here, okay? Um, but, um, or you could have a, a, a baby's, a, a baby's daddy who has been a deadbeat who may be trying to come back around and be giving to you because this sits right up under dream big, giving to the less fortunate here. As long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive here. Okay. So either you, you have a, a deadbeat baby daddy who is mean and surly here or has been mean and surly to you. Okay. Or you could have a deadbeat baby daddy who, you know, has been absent from your life, has uh, been absent absent from your child life and maybe trying to come around and uh communicate with you in some type of way okay let's 
Spirit, please give me clear and accurate messages. There's somebody within some type of witch coven. They're doing witch coven rituals on you in some type of way. Or there's some type of witch coven that is working against you. This witch coven could also be trying to steal your work as well. We have a, a makeover here. You could be getting some type of makeover of some kind. Okay. You could be making yourself over in some type of way. Yeah, you're definitely a single mother. Okay. You lose, you release... You lose, you release, and you let go of the karmics in your life, people in your family, um, this Debbie, baby daddy, um, associates, fake phony friends, exes, and everything, people that did not, just, um, people that, um, you know, did not have your best interest at heart. <clears throat> You have, you loose released and let go of those people here, okay? So people could be feeling some type of way because you blocked them, because you cut them off. But these people know good and well what they did to you for, for you to feel like that, for you to uh, resort to doing that, okay? Because I feel like you went through a whole lot in dealing with these people here, okay? Spirit wants you to know you are chosen one here, okay? I feel like other people know that. That's the reason why um, people are trying to, these copycats are trying to steal your work here, okay? Um, could be the reason why you are getting some type of important information here. Spirit wants you to know that you are not going to want for anything, even though, you know, the struggle is real. You could be going through. You could be going without certain different things or whatever. But Spirit says you shall not want, okay? So I feel like um, the necessities are always provided for you no matter what other things you're going through, okay? That don't guarantee that you're going to have a lover. That doesn't guarantee that you're going to have friends. That doesn't guarantee that you're, you know, going to be fulfilled and happy and pleased to the fullest and all of that or whatever. But it does mean that the most high... Um, makes sure that you know your necessities are taken care of okay you have a roof over your head you have food in your mouth okay um you know the bare necessity one more uh, message please spirit one more message here you could be someone who uh you could be someone who grew up in the system. You may have been to foster care before or grew up in the fo in foster care system before here, okay? There's several messages that's popped out here, okay? You could have some type of natural beauty here, okay? You want to be very careful as well. If you got people who's working against you, people could be lying on you. People could be working against you, trying to hurt you, harm you, set you up. People uh, could be, if you have children, well, you obviously have children because single mother came out here, okay? Uh, people could be uh, working against you, uh, trying to hurt you, harm you, trying to take your child or... Uh, uh, put your child in foster home or something like that, foster care or something like You want to be very careful here, okay? Because people are trying to cause you to be stressed, cause you to be depressed, okay? There's a karmic, there's some type of karmic setup that's going on, okay? There's a karmic that's setting up divine masculine and divine feminine here, okay? So you definitely got some karmics that's working against you here, okay? And um, you definitely have had to cut off karmic as individuals as well because we know that you you went through a sir these people who have been mean and surly to you you decided to loose release and let go of these karmics and then these karmics decide to set um up divine masculine and divine feminine okay Yeah, these individuals are control freaks. They're trying to play God in your life here, okay? These people are clearly jealous of you. they envious of you. Yes, yeah, Spirit is saying that they never loved you. They never loved you and got the audacity to be working against you here, okay? I see various different things here. Somebody could be, people are trying to steal your work. People are lying on you. 
could be a line on you to a police, to authorities. People could be uh, calling, uh, making fraudulent claims to the Department of Human Services or Child Protective Services. Okay, you have nothing to worry about. You got nothing to hide. Okay, these, uh, if so, these claims are going to be unfounded. Okay. These people are lying on you. These people are trying to hurt you though, okay? They're trying to set you up in some type of way. These are the same individuals who are competing with you, who are stealing your work here, okay? But these people are jealous of you. They're envious of you. They're spiteful towards you. Yeah. Spirits say they never loved you. Spirits say that, that you, these are hidden enemies here. Okay. You're somebody who has to, had, had to struggle on your own. You get no child support, no help or anything from anyone. You take care of your child by yourself. Okay. And you stand on your own two feet. Your child don't want for anything. Okay. You're strong-willed, you're strong-minded. I feel like people are intimidated because you have a backbone, because you are a single mother, okay? Because you you in this world, but you're not of this world. <clears throat> so these shicey ass individuals are trying to work against you. Somebody who is working against you, I feel like is calling the police, calling authority figures and lying on you. Um, trying to make you out to be crazy when you're not. Trying to make it seem like that you are a criminal of some kind and you haven't even committed a crime at all. But these people want to play God in your life. They're trying to control you. They're lying to police. They're lying to authorities. They're calling, making fraudulent claims to the Department of Human Services, to uh, Child Protective Services, which is a crime, okay? Even if you call in anonymous, those calls can be traced, okay? These, this becomes a regular problem and, and, and it's sad because there are children who are being raped, who are being abducted, who are being physically, mentally, emotionally, and sexually abused every single day. And you taking away from these uh, children who actually need help, okay? Just to do something evil and malicious to somebody that you call yourself working against just because you don't like them. Just because you want to sit back and, and, and see them go through something because you know this person is awake. Because this person blocked you. Because this person cut you off. Okay? So you want to work against them. You want to lie on them to police. You want to lie on them to authorities. You want to try to make them out to be crazy when they are not. Which coven rituals here? Just because they won't deal with you, okay? <clears throat> That's what these individuals are doing, okay? But spirits say that they tricks, that they lies and they deceptions, they won't work. The tricks, that lies and their deceptions won't work here, okay? So we have the lover's card here, okay? This is right in between. This is right in between. As long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. And the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Yeah, like I said, somebody is single. You, I feel like you've been single for a long time. You've been lonely. You've been without. You've been by yourself. You could have been celibate for a very long time. You're not having sex and different things, okay? I could be speaking to someone where you have even given up on love, okay? Um, to the point that you've been in concern about being without uh, finances, money, resources, transportation, um, uh, work, and different things like that, a relationship or whatever, okay? We have to, to clarify, moving to... Uh, uh, Moving to a new house of your dreams and giving to the less fortunate. We have courtship here, okay? You could be, um, this could be a legal matter. You could be finding out in some type of court, because of some type of court proceeding, that a home was left for you, okay? Um, or you could be dating somebody. You could have, if you have been dating somebody, y'all been dating each other for a while, living in separate places, Okay, and maybe y'all are deciding to move in together, okay?
Okay. So we have expectation here. This sits right here next to important information, giving him um, give me, giving him or her something he or she can feel here. You could be sitting around waiting to hear something, waiting to find out some type of information pertaining to something here, okay? You could be a main female that's waiting on this information to come in. You've been dreaming about this. You've been dreaming big about this. Okay, and you're you're waiting around and it's sitting in expectation, waiting to hear some type of important information pertaining to something that has to do with a hope, wish, or dream that you have. We have unexpected income here, okay? That sits in between dream big. Copycat stealing your work here, okay? There could be somebody who is going to contact you, who wants to pay you for some type of work that you have done uh, or, or something. But these individuals are trying to take your, take your work in some type of way here. Okay, like I feel like they want to pay you like a small something. Say there's something that they created, okay? Or say there's something that you created, okay? And say they want to give you $5,000, but they know that they can make $5 million off of it, okay? So, or something like that, okay? So we have, you definitely have some type of gift here. We have gift here. You could be receiving a gift or you could be getting a gift here, okay? This sits in between um, mean and surly, deadbeat, baby daddies, loose release, let go of karmics, and the chosen one here. You are a chosen one and you definitely have gifts, but I feel like you could be getting a gift, from someone, okay? You're going to be getting some type of messages, news, information, or communication pertaining to this. This sits right in between the chosen one, natural beauty, um, hidden enemies, no child support, okay? So you're going to get some type of messages pertaining to some type of gift that you have or either um, to give you a gift of some type, okay? Okay, Spirit, please give me further clarification for this reading here. You could be receiving some type of messages pertaining to some type of legal situation here, okay? This could be pertaining to a house, okay? They never loved you here. Um, and hidden enemies is... Um, it's clarified by mature man. There's a mature man who never loved you. This person is a hidden enemy. Okay. Karmic, uh, the death, uh, the coffin card tried to come out next to karmic set of divine masculine, divine feminine. Somebody could be trying to hurt you, harm you, kill you, or, or somebody that you know here. So we have official person here that sits in between hidden enemies and no child support here, okay? So you've got some hidden enemies who are persons in power here, okay? They're, they're rich, they're wealthy, they uh, are, are official persons in power, government, authority figures here. They're hidden enemies working against you here. They could be the very reason why you're not getting any child support of some kind. Okay. So let me see. Spirit, one more message, please. Between no child support and uh, witch coven rituals. What is the message? Okay, we have two cards to try to pop out there guys give me one card please spirit as to what as to what's going on please clarify 
Now, child support, witch coven rituals. Okay. You could be a mature woman. We got mature woman at the bottom of the deck, guys. Okay. And hold on just a minute. We had a card that fell. This is the community card here. This is in between no child support. So you definitely got people in your community who are hidden enemies here um, and working against you. That's a part of some type of witch coven and doing some type of witch coven rituals against you. You have official persons who are hidden enemies as well here. People in your community as well as these official persons in power. I feel like if you if you get some type of child support, these people are trying to do something to you or to your child or trying to do something behind the scenes to prevent you from getting some type of child support that you receive or either um or either um they're the reason that you're not getting some type of child support or something like I feel like this may fall along the lines of like uh, some type of benef government benefits and different things like that or whatever. But usually child support, it, uh, you know, has to do with um, the person that you have a child with paying child support, you know, co-parenting with this person and they're helping you to take care of this child here, okay? But I feel like this witch, this witch coven, um, they're doing rituals on your finances, your money and your resources, okay? So any type of, um, they're doing curses and spells on your finances money and resources this would be on your job um on uh any type of money that you get is any type of earned income coming in in some type of way here these people are uh, this witch coven they're doing rituals to try to attack you and here you are a single mother um you take care of you and your child off the bare minimum here, okay? And these people who are hating on you, who are working against you, they jealous of you. They envious of you. They want to see you and your child suffer. They want to see you and your child homeless and on the streets here, okay? You got people in your community, people in your family, as well as... <clears throat> authority figures government officials who is a part of this who is working against you behind the scenes okay who um are paying people to do certain things they're doing black magic and voodoo casting curses and spells over your finances okay you need to um do some uh um you need to you definitely need to pray over you and your child you need to do things to protect you and your child here okay and um just be aware hold on guys these people are trying to keep me from speaking they're messing with my throat chakra they didn't want me getting that getting that message out okay guys if you if something happened to you if you lost a job or say you can't work because you don't have transportation now if something has been done to just just protect your finances your money your resources your transportation your home your um uh your job your money any type of a government benefits you were uh receiving whether it be food stamps medicaid medicare whatever you get whatever you own if it's if you get child support um if you get any type of uh benefits whatsoever okay um even if you are somebody who is on disability or something and you get that or whatever these people are doing um this witch coven, these witches and these Satanists, they are doing witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo on your finances here, okay? I've actually heard, uh, um, I can always tell with certain ones of these readers who are sellouts, who have specific messages because they'll all be coming out with certain messages saying the certain saying certain things over and over and over again, but it'd be the same things. I've heard several people, okay, within the last couple of weeks that said that um somebody was going to com uh, commit suicide and then um there's uh 
other readers that I have heard constantly say that somebody is getting put out of a house, somebody is homeless right now, or about to be homeless, about to get evicted or put out of a home. These people are conjuring these things up. These people are the very individuals sitting back behind the scenes working against you, doing witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo, and things on your finances, on your home. Like these people are so sick and demented and twisted. They don't even, you could be living smack dead in the hood in a shack okay you could be living in a one room efficiency these people um will be doing black magic and i mean i'm saying seriously like the bare minimum okay you below the poverty line okay and these people it's people out here that's it is envious and jealous of that they don't want you to have nothing they want they sit back and laughing Thinking shit funny, thinking shit a joke, thinking it's, it's, it's cool to attack single mothers, want to see you and your child on the street homeless, without a place to live, without transportation, you without a job, you without any finances, money, or resources. Like, you know, these, these motherfuckers is like the Grinch that stole Christmas. Like, if, if, if you walk outside, you may not have nowhere to go. You and your kid might be sitting on the damn porch. Your child out in the yard playing. You watching your child. Just because your child hair comb and they got on a cute little sundress or something. These people ride by with their nose turned up at you. Jealous of you. This is how petty these bastards is, okay? If you buy your child a birthday gift or a Christmas gift, these bastards jealous of you and envious of you, okay? They in competition with you and your work. They in competition with you, with your children. They in competition with you, with your life, with your, with your uh, romantic relationship, everything. They want to play God in your life and they doing all type of sick, twisted shit behind the damn scenes because they want to see you suffer, they hate you so much, they don't even care that if your child suffer. These people are sick, man. They beyond sick. Something is wrong with them. They just started messing with my throat chakra all of a sudden because they didn't want me to get that information out. These individuals are seriously jacked up, man. These individuals are seriously jacked up, okay? Those of them who are your family members or your exes and different things like that, they never loved you. Spirit is saying that you are a sweetheart here. Spirit is saying that you are a sweetheart. There's many people sitting back behind the scenes who in concern. They want you concerned. They want you in despair here. They're doing things to you on purpose to try to make you suicidal, to try to make you depressed, to try to make you stressed. Okay, so so that you will give up in some type of way is why they're doing these things to you. Yeah, you got a you got somebody that you thought was a friend, okay, who are doing these things to you. <clears throat> Who's a part of attacking you here, okay? Or either you, this comes out with courtship here, and it comes right in between. Um, this information about this house here and give it to the less fortunate. You might have this this person who trying to act like they your <clears throat> excuse me, trying to act like they your friend or something or want to be given to you. But this person is a part of the setup. This person is working against you and your child. Yeah. See, they want to cause you some type of misfortune here. Okay. Yeah, so with that card, uh, the, with that important information and in the card that says giving him something he can feel here, they want you to feel uh, uh, stressed, depressed, suicidal, sad. They sit back and laugh when you sad, when you cry, when you without. Yeah, they want to see you like this, broke down, sad, depressed, without, giving up on yourself here. They want to cause you some type of misfortune. <clears throat> These people are sick, bro. They're seriously sick. And they're trying to prevent you from getting something that's coming into you. You've been dreaming big, okay? These copycats that's trying to steal, you've been working hard and you got copycats that's trying to steal your ideas here. They're trying to block you or stop you from getting some type of unexpected income coming into you. 
or some here. Yeah, they're trying to prevent some type of fortune from coming into you. And I feel like it may have something to do with your work or it may have something to do um, with something you have manifested in or something. Yeah, these people want to steal your gifts. Okay. They want to steal something that's rightfully yours. That's supposed to be coming to you. They hate you because you are chosen one. They hate you because you have natural beauty here. They hate you because even though you a single mother, even though, um, you know, you still stand your ground. You still stand on your own two feet. They, they, they hate you because you humble and you okay. Like you don't try to live above your means. You okay with, with, you know, having the bare minimum. You make the bare minimum work. You know how to save. You know how to budget. You know how to, uh, 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 you know, work with what you have here. And these people, they hate you so much that they want to even tear that down. Okay. And they hate if any type of blessing or anything is coming your way. Somebody is if somebody knows that this is going on and sitting in deep thought about this here. And this could be this person that's sending you some type of messages or information or communication. Somebody that's in concern. Somebody who uh is in despair, maybe even suicidal. Over what they have done to you could be sending you some type of message here, okay? We have Psy here that came out so, uh, uh, about this. Uh, you may be a uh, sighing, you know, have some type of sigh of relief here when you find out about this house or something. Okay, we have a uh, sorrow here with the mature man. They never loved you. Hidden enemies here. Please clarify official person. Why is this official person here? There we, we got ooh, multiple cards came out here. We got the widower in prison that came out here, okay? That sit right in between hidden enemies, no child support here with the official person. There could be some official persons going to prison about um, what they have been doing to work against you here, okay? It's some official people in power and authority who have been abusing their authorities to attack you here, um, who have been doing things. They have been hidden enemies and they have been working in silence against you here. They're trying to do something illegal and just to you. These people was even involved with planning and plotting um, to try to kill you as well here. These hidden enemies who are official persons. And one of these people could be in concern about this. This is the person that's in despair and could be sending you some type of message about what you're going through and what you're dealing with because they were a part of it. This person getting caught up with what they was a, a part of, what they was in, involved in to work against you. Spirit, please clarify uh, community here. Why is community here sitting next to witch coven rituals? Witch covering rituals. We have scholar here, okay? So this is, again, this is another prominent figure here. This is somebody who is, uh, on the surface, is knowledgeable, is educated, may have degrees here. This, this is a scholar of some kind. This could be a professor. This could be an author. This could be, this is somebody who is wealthy or in power, who are amongst the community. They're a part of some type of witch coven, and they have been doing rituals on you, Okay? This person could be uh, the copycat that has been uh, uh, who who's trying to steal your work here, okay? Because you got some type of gift here, or you could be receiving some type of gift here that you're going to receive some type of letters ab uh, about, some type of communication and information could come into you about this, okay? But you are a mature woman and you're getting some type of gift uh, that's coming into you. People behind the scenes are hidden enemies and working against you. Um, they could know that that you know this you you know you're supposed to be getting something or something's supposed to be coming to you or something, and these people trying to stop it or block it or you know just sending you through unnecessary as drama when you already clearly a single mother struggling. You know you're not bitching, whining, or moaning about it. You're not trying to um, uh, you know. 
make it somebody else's uh, priority. Um, you know, you're not abusing or neglecting your child or putting the responsibility of taking care of your child off on somebody else. And you're dealing with all these hidden enemies who are working against you and you're doing the best you can. And I feel like you're doing so alone because you're not even somebody that's dating or with someone. That's why you started off with, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. And the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want here. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody didn't want me speaking about this message. It's people behind the scenes though lying on you. People behind the scenes stealing, trying to steal your work as well. We have the high priestess here. Okay. This talks about uh you, you, you listening to your intuition when it comes to things. I feel like spiritually, you know that these things are going on, that these things are happening. This talks about secret information, secret knowledge, occultic knowledge here, okay? Things that are hidden, things that are secret here, okay? But you are definitely, it also speaks to your third eye and your psychic abilities and you listening to your intuition at this time. You know that something is going on, that um, things are happening behind the scenes here. And it's because of the devil here. It's because of these people who are sold out. Out to the devil who are sold out to these satanic powers that be who made deals with the devil who took oaths and under contrast they chained to the devil here and they allowing the devil to use them and attack you like this here you intuitively know this you know this secret knowledge about this of what's what's going on here okay yeah because and you have gotten some type of you're going to gain some type of you have either gained or going to, okay, some type of public recognition or knowledge or success or triumph or victory for something here. It is publicly known that the, you are being attacked, that these things are happening to you and you continue to work hard. You continue to strive forward and this is being seen publicly here. I feel like you are even somebody who is talented, who is skilled, who have abilities in some type of way. You may create things or do have done a work that you have put out and made it public and you are gaining some type of success, triumph or victory or public recognition. Um, for your work here, you took a leap of faith and, um, on, on doing something, uh, as far as your work is concerned. Okay. And yeah. And because of it, these people are hostile towards you. They defensive towards you. You even feel like you have to protect yourself. You have to protect your child. Okay. These people are wanting to sacrifice you are wanting to kill you are wanting to take you out. And that's these hidden enemies who are behind the scenes working against you here. Okay. That's these individuals behind the scenes who are attacking your finances, your money, your resources, your financial stability and security, your safety. Okay, yeah, these people have worked at nothing to uh, bring a completion or an end to a cycle. These people wanted things to end in your life, to come to an end. Okay, yeah. And they had the motivation and determination to move forward and do so and continue to work against you like this. These are things that was done in secret, that was done in hiding, that was done behind closed doors. These people doing moon magic, rituals on you, casting curses and spells on you, sending you the evil eye, doing glamour spells on you, beauty spells on you, love magic, sex magic on you, attacking you, attacking your child. Okay? That was all type of sneaky, freaky, creepy things that was going on behind the scenes in darkness. Okay? But you intuitively know this, knew this, okay, that these demonically possessed as individuals was doing this, okay? You could have a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo who is involved in working against you in some type of way. You could be moving or leaving or traveling as well. Because of the, the, the things that's been going on, the things that you have been dealing with, you have been do, enduring and going through, okay? Yeah. You've had courage. You've had faith. You've had to stay strong, okay? You've endured a whole lot here, okay? With what you have been dealing with, with what you have been going through, with what these people have sent you through. I just said that. You've endured a lot, okay? 
You've had to protect yourself. You've had to protect your child here. The Seven of Wands talks about endurance. You have endured a lot here by these people who wanted to end you, who wanted to sac blood sacrifice you, who wanted to kill you, who wanted to hurt you and harm you and your child, who attacks your health, your well-being, your financial stability, your financial, your, I mean, your financial stability, your security, okay, your safety and everything. You had to protect you and your child from these people. You endured so much. Yeah, these people was plotting, planning, and scheming, planning your death. They wanted to put a death to you here with the death card here, sitting here with the with the with the world and the three of wands with the death card. These people were trying to kill you. I feel like you're gonna get some type of messages, news, information, or communication in here, okay? You are a mature woman here. I feel like you're somebody who is over the age of 30. Okay, you have some type of talent, skill, or ability, some type of gift. There's some type of gift that is coming to you that these people wanted to prevent from coming to you. They've been sending you through hell and high water, you and your child here, because you are a single mother who has endured this. And I don't feel like this has been going on a day or two, a week or two, a month or two. This has been going on for years, okay? You have had people from your family to, to people that you thought were friends or associates, to people who are ex-lovers, to people in power, people who hold who people who are abusing their authority and their power people who have uh, powerful positions authoritarian positions who abuse their authority abuse their power they serve and protect nobody but themselves here okay who have done nothing to help you who to stop what was going on because they were secretly involved in all of these things here you're going to receive some type of messages news information or communication about these things yeah you're going to receive some type of message, news, information, and communication about these things, about what these people were doing to you in secret behind closed doors. I mean, I feel like you even had people in secret societies or, or something, witch covens, satanic cults working against you, okay? And everybody was in on it. Everybody that you have ever known has been in on it. Yeah. Once again, this has come out. You got a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Who is who has been a part of this? Who has been working against you in secret behind closed doors here? Okay. You got a fire sign, Sagittarius, or Aries. Okay. Who who is a part of this? Who has been working against you? Yeah, we got the nine of swords here. They wanted you in mental conflict here. They did things to to uh, uh, deprive you of sleep here, to drain you of your energy. They wanted you stressed. They wanted you to depress. They wanted you suicidal. They wanted you to give up. They, they wanted to cause you sleepless nights here. They tried to hunt you, taunt you, harass you. They stalked you. They invaded you. They violated you. They manipulated you. They attacked your mind, your body, your soul. They did any and everything in their power to try to get you to snap, crack, and pop. To get you to lose all control. To get you to act irrational in some type of way here. They wanted you in mental conflict because uh, they attacked your health, your well-being, your finances, your money, your resources, your stability. And they worked in schemes and teams in groups behind the scenes against you with the three of cups here at the bottom of the deck. There are several people that came together to do this to you. Hidden enemies. Hidden enemies. They was too cowards to even stand in your face and tell you I don't like you. Stand in your face and tell you, yeah, I'm working against you. Stand in your face and say, yeah, I hate you. They was too coward to do such a thing. Yeah, you got an Aquarius, you got a, a an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini who working against you as well. Okay, these individuals, this Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, this Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, and this Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, they put a hit out on you. They wanted to kill you. They did any and everything in their power here. They did multiple things with the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They had several different options to choose from, and they took every last one of them options to stop you, to block you, to hurt you, to harm you, to hinder you, to invade you, to violate you, to stalk you, to harass you. They did everything in their power, but this is known. This car fell. I didn't even know that it fell. Depression. They wanted you to be depressed. They wanted you to be depressed. Okay? You're going to get some type of messages, news, information, and communication about all these different things that these people was doing to you behind the scenes. Okay? When you get this information, you're going to have, you're going to have, um, <clears throat> 
there's going to be growth and movement forward, okay? You're going to be able to move forward past this, past these people here, okay? And everything that they have done to you. These people are sick. They beyond sick. Yeah. See, this Capricorn Taurus of Virgo, they wanted you juggling. They want you struggling. Okay? They wanted you without nothing. That's been secretly working against you. This individual chained to the devil. Sell out to a sold out to the devil, part of witch cub and satanic cults, secret societies and shit. We got the five of wands here. These people jealous of you, envious of you, in competition with you here. This fire sign here, they were so jealous of you, envious of you. They worked with this whole group of other people here. Because they hate you so much. Because they jealous of you and they envious of you here. Okay? They didn't want you to have no public recognition. No success, triumph, victory here. Okay? But you, they had no idea that you would be as strong as you are. They had no idea that you would, that you, that you are protected. That you would lead, that you had courage. That you had strength. That you would lead on your faith here. They had no idea. Yeah, these people caused you burdens, hardships, problematic situations. They piled everything they could on you. These people tried 10 different ways or more. Okay? They attacked your finances, your money, your resources. They attacked your health. They attacked your well-being. They attacked your transportation. They attacked your job. They attacked you. They attacked your child. They attacked your home. They attacked your love life. They attacked your mental stability. They attacked your security. These people, the Ten of Wands talks about burdens, hardships, problematic situations. These people did this to you on purpose. They wanted you in mental conflict and with anxiety, depression, stress. They deprived you of sleep. They caused you to endure all type of things. This is all wands right here. Ten of wands, seven of wands, nine of wands. You had to protect yourself. These people was defensive against you. They wanted to sacrifice you. They wanted to kill you. They, they, you endured all kinds of things from these people here. They put all kind of burdens on you and they thought you was going to rither up and die. They thought you was going to crawl up in a, a, a fetal position and cry. They wanted you in mental conflict to the point that, 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 that you, you kill yourself. Yeah. This Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, all these people. This Sagittarius, Aries, of Leo, this Capricorn, Taurus, of Virgo, and everybody else they work with, they spread all kind of gossip, rumors, slanders, and lies about you. That's how they got caught up because they run their damn mouth so much. So the whole hood know, everybody know that they, that they, that they, uh, 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 which they put a hit out on you trying to kill you, trying to sacrifice you, trying to bring your life to an end. And they had the motivation and determination to do so here with the three of wands. There was three main people behind all of this. This Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini with this Queen of Swords here. The Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo here with this Knight of Wands here and this Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo with this King of Pentacles here. Them three people are the ones who had the main motivation and determination to see you fall, to see you in. We even got the three of coins at the bottom of the deck right here. Who, who all, the scheme, a team working together to hurt you, harm you, kill you, and you. You're going to get some type of message news information about all these different options that they took. All the different things that they did to you here. That this group of individuals came together to work against you. This third party. As individuals that came together. just There will be a balance in this situation. Justice will be served in this situation. 
Because it has been exposed. These people have been exposed for what they have done to you. Just period. Spirit, are there any other messages? Yeah. This Capricorn Taurus or Virgo here. They was the main ones that want to cause some type of tower in your life. They want to cause some type of sudden upheaval here. They want the problems of any kind in your life. They wanted you to be murdered. They wanted you to be harmed. Okay? This person is a Decepticon. They cause chaos in your life, destruction in your life, deception in your life, tragedy in your life. This person never loved you at all. You block this person. You loose release and let go of this karmic ass individual here. This person wanted, was sitting around waiting on tragic news to come through about your death here they cause all type of shake up of things in your life here I feel like you 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 somebody who is an angelic being you somebody who is an angelic being Okay, I feel like you could be an earth angel. You you definitely an empress, a high priestess. Okay. You someone who is one with the divine here. Okay. We have temperance here. This you an angelic being. You're a believer and a healer here. You're a light worker. Okay. Temperance talks about natural, what's natural and nature here, okay? This talks about innocence, purity, and earth angel here. It talks about faith and hope, sweet and honest, okay? You are earth angel. You are angelic being here, okay? You are here on earth to heal and to help others. And these people was jealous of you, envious of you, in competition with you, caused all this conflict in your life here. This such as Aries or Leo here. You had to lean, you had to have courage and faith and strength. Okay? They didn't want you to have success, triumph, or victory, public recognition or anything. And you still took that leap of faith and courage and faith and, and, and strength. All why this old jealousy, narcissistic. Evil ass sex chairs Eris Aaliyah was in competition with you with all these other people here. And you stood here in your, in, in your temperance energy here as the angel, the earth angel that you are. While these people was causing all these towers to collapse in your life. Causing all this chaos and destruction in your life. Yeah, you a mother. You're supportive, you're nurturing. You're the loving mother. You're creative. You're fun. You're outgoing. You're beautiful. You're open-minded. You're a free spirit. You're caring. You're hard-working. You're a good listener. You're affectionate. You're supportive. You could be a water sign here. You could be a water sign, specifically a Pisces. This speaks to new life, loving, caring, giving, mermaid energy here. Fish water sign here, sensitive. You mutable though. You go with the flow. You know how to go with the flow. This how this is the reason why out of all these burdens that they caused you, even though they caused you all this burdens, even though they wanted you in mental conflict, they wanted you to give up and kill yourself so they wouldn't have to get their own hands dirty, knowing they the ones who would push you towards such things, even though you endure so much, even though they attacked your health, your well-being, your finances, your money, your resources, your stability, your security, even though they was they they was defensive towards you they was trying to sacrifice you and kill you here you went with the flow you killed them with kindness because some of these individuals before you blocked them before you cut them off you were still loving and caring to them you was giving to them and they took and took and took everything they could from you they took and took and took everything that they fucking could from you while working against you, thinking you was a fool. Thinking you was a fool.
Spirit, give me one more card for this energy um, here. You somebody, you could be somebody who is a content creator of some kind. Okay? You could have some type of social media platform here. Okay? That these people are hating on. Okay? Yeah, see, look. They wanted to cause your death here. Yeah. You're someone who is a psychic. Okay? You're an empress. You're an empath. You're highly intuitive. You're naturally empathic here. You're a high priestess. You're a healer. You're a spiritualist. You're a light worker. You're a tarot reader here. With a platform. Okay? And these people tried to cause you all type of burdens. They tried to cause you all type of burdens here. You're a high priestess. You're a high priestess. Your third eye is open. You're a psychic. You're highly intuitive. You're naturally empathic here. Okay? These authority figures, these elite individuals working against you, they mad because you they know you know occultic knowledge. They you know they know you know the secrets about all these hidden things here. That you hold information, that you hold certain power. Uh -huh. So this is the reason why they did, you know, with this witchy twitchy car here, they did this black magic and voodoo on you here. These wicked witches working against you and, ca and casting curses and spells on you, did rituals and different things. They tried to blood sacrifice you. They is sitting here with the with the uh, this Aquarius Libra Gemini here. Who these people are Satanists. They're part of secret societies and witch covens. They've been doing black magic and voodoo on you. Trying to kill you. These people cause all type of burdens on you. They caused these burdensome situations on you. They neglected you. They left you out in the cold. They left you hanging. They mistreated you in more ways than one. None other than your own family. I feel like this Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, this Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, this 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 Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, they were the ring leaders. But I feel like every last one of them is your family, or people that you see in this family. Your family set you up like this, came against you like this, and even though they may be linked to secret societies and people in power who may be going along with all of this and sat back and didn't do anything and sat back and watched all of this play out, your family set you up like this. They set you up to be to be targeted, gang stalked, harassed. They set you up to be tracked, to be hacked, to be whacked, everything. Your family. With this Ten of Cups here. At the bottom of uh, 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 this deck here. Okay? You are a mature woman with some type of talent, skill, or ability, or some type of gift that is coming to you, or a gift that you have. You're going to receive some type of message, news, information, and communication about these people in your family who has been working against you. Who have set you up. To do all these things to you. They wanted towers to collapse in your life here. This Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Spirit say this person never loved you. They wanted you to. They wanted you dead. You had no idea. That this person would, was causing this type of chaos. Was causing this type of distress. This person literally set you up to be killed. This person is chained to the devil. They saw they saw a long time ago. You probably didn't know. Probably didn't even know it. This says here's Aries a Leo person here is your mother. Who jealous of you, envious of you because you are earth angel, because you are a psychic. Because you are a, a, a single mother who is loving and caring. But your mother ain't never been loving, caring, supportive or nurturing to you at all. This Sagittarius Aries or Leo is your mother who is jealous of you, envious of you, in competition with you, and worked with this Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, and this Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini person here to work against you. You are Earth Angel. You are Light Worker. You are Healer. You are Natural Born Healer. You are Empath. You are Psychic. You are Empress. You are Intuitive. You are High Priestess. 
your spiritual is. And your mama is jealous of you, who is the sexual heiress of Leo. Whoever this Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo is, this is either somebody in your family or somebody close who was close to you like family or somebody who is a part of this deception and trying to cause these towers in your life here, okay? You're somebody who's got some type of social media platform, whether it's popular or not, it is known or you are known, Okay? And people know you the truth. They know you a high priestess here. And you got people working against you. And they've been vigorously doing black magic and voodoo on you. They've tried to cause your death. They really wanted you in a perfect world. They really wanted you to give up and to kill yourself. That's the reason why you have the nine of wands. The four of the nine of wands. The, the four of coins. The seven of wands. The nine of swords with the ten of wands. In this pile here. They wanted you to kill yourself. They wanted to push you over the edge and kill yourself and they were going to benefit off your death. Yeah. This, uh, this Capricorn Taurus or Virgo <clears throat> Who wants to cause this tower in your life? Spirit is saying that these individuals, you see how all these other people here with this person, this person got in a scheme of team of people with of people, and they talked about you like a dog. This person never loved you. Spirit is saying that this person is a liar, a cheater, a thief. They're very sneaky. They conniving and manipulative, disloyal. Okay, they're a deceiver and they're very two faced. This person probably smiled up in your face and act like they cared about your spirit said, whoever this person is, they never loved you. So if this was somebody that you was in a relationship with, spirit is saying they never loved you. They was, excuse me, they was always looking for the perfect opportunity to set you up in some type of way. They're trying to get away with something. They stole something from you as well. Okay, this person was disloyal to you and they teamed up with other people behind your back. This is somebody who is either your family or somebody who is close to you like your family or somebody who is close to your family. They stole something from you and they lied on you. They stabbed you in the back. They talked about you like a dog. They threw you under the bus. This person betrayed you in the worst way. They were very disloyal to you. Very disloyal to you. Spirit wants you to know that you are enough. We have I am enough card here, okay? Spirit wants you to know that you are beautiful in every single way. These people words, they can't get you down. You look good. You feel good. You are beautiful, okay? Tell yourself that every single day. I look good. I feel good. I am beautiful, okay? And you let other people know they can either love you or leave you, but they cannot screw over you, okay? Spirit wants you to know that you are a special kind of lady, okay? You are loving you. This is loving me even when no one else do here, okay? So I keep seeing child star. You may have been a child star when you were a kid and didn't know it. Something was done. Um, if, if, if so, if you have lived a regular life that you know of, or, you know, even whether your life was good or bad or whatever, if you lived, if you came up from, from when you can remember from your childhood, and no matter what you went through, you just had this single type of life or whatever. I keep seeing child star. You may have been a child star, and your parents made money off of you in some type of way. When you were a kid and you may not have known. This is what may have this is how you had access. People in power had access to you when you were a kid. You were a child star. And you was like sold out to the powers that be in the industry in some type of way. And they used you and abused you while you were a kid. But at some point they got rid of you. But your family kept making money off of you. They always knew this. 
but you possibly didn't. Something was done. You was giving something or something was done to suppress your memory. But if you went through satanic ritual abuse, if you can remember back and you went through satanic ritual abuse, or you had a mother who was always mean and nasty to you, wasn't loving, wasn't caring, wasn't affectionate, okay? Who was envious of you or jealous of you, um... You went through traumatic things in your life. Some things you may remember, some things you may not. Also, another thing, if nobody has pictures of you before from your infancy, for if, if you if there are no pictures of you when you were an infant, it's possible. You, you were a child star. It's possible that you belong to somebody else. How you ended up with your family, I'm not quite sure because it could have happened in multiple different ways here, okay? But I feel like somebody got some type, it's an important person, they got some type of connection to the industry, to these satanic powers that be here, okay? You could be a child, you could have been used as a child star as a baby or either you are a, a, a child of a star, in some type of way. And how you ended up, your something went on with how you ended up with the family that you have. But somebody was a child star when they were a kid. And something was done to suppress or erase your memory. And you can't remember it. Yeah, we have, we, we... You could have been used as a uh, model or for commercials or little programs or something. I keep seeing child stars. Somebody was a child star. Somebody, somebody that was a child star that is not in the industry now. Like, you didn't grow up in the industry. You didn't grow up with wealthy parents or anything or in that atmosphere. But you were a child star or something. And something was done to to make you forget about it. I, I feel like you were pimped out or sold by your family, okay? To prominent wealthy people in power who use you for have whatever they want to use you for. And something something was done to erase your memory of this. Of the things that you've seen, the things you experienced, and the things that was done to you. And you was put under mind control at this time. And your entire family noticed and has been gaslighting you this whole time. I'm telling you. Somebody was a child star. I keep seeing child star. Somebody was a child star. And it's you. The single mother. Who is an earth angel here. Who is a psychic. An empress. An empath. A high priest is a light worker, a spiritualist. This is why spirit keep telling you, you are enough. These people in the industry want to make it seem like you are nobody from nowhere. Like you're not talented enough. You're not skilled enough. People trying to stop you, block you. You've been there. You are a child star. Something happened in your childhood. I guarantee you, nobody has pictures of you from your infancy. And even if somebody produced one, that is not, that's all they can produce is one. And it's probably not, if you really look at it, it's probably not even you. But I can almost guarantee you that this, nobody has pictures of you before, before you, you, before you began school. If nobody, if you've never seen pictures of yourself and nobody has pictures of you before you were school age, which would have been around five or six, you used to go to kindergarten at five. If there are no pictures of you before that age, something is wrong with you, especially specifically around your infancy, before you were walking. So anywhere, if nobody has pictures of you between your infancy And maybe three. There, there, there was something that went on in your childhood. Okay? Something that went on in your childhood.
that's for somebody that is not for everybody. That's a specific message that just came through all of a sudden that I just thought about. Okay. Spirit wants you to know that you are a naturally dope person, though. Okay. You are alert, you're focused, you're mature, you're smart, you're talented. Okay. Um, you're gifted. Okay. You have some type of talent, skills, or ability. You're knowledgeable. Okay. You're masterminded. Okay. You could be a genius. Okay. You work hard, okay? And this is the reason why these people put all these burdens on you, cost you to endure so much, and even wanted to sacrifice you, okay? Yeah, we have here, um, this, the, the, we have, yep, we're throwing shade card here, okay? This is the Three of Cups. This is here with this Aquarius Libra Gemini with this black magic, these spells and these curses, this voodoo card here, okay? These, this the individual who, who, uh, have been actively doing things to cause your death. These other people is involved with it, okay? Because this card here, this talks about third party situations. This talks about groups of people coming together, okay? This is the shade group here. Here, who gossip a lot okay um three cents of orgies could have been going on but this is definitely some type of gang or cult okay witch coven or satanic cult here okay this is groups of people coming together with one another gathering and get togethers here okay having um they could have even had celebrations and parties together over what they you know meeting up to discuss what they were plotting and planning against you how they were going to work against you what they was going to do here okay but they were working together to do do something this is a witch coven they're part of some type of brotherhood or sisterhood secret society here okay they get together and have meetings and they've been throwing hella shade on you these people also was getting together to do black magic voodoo and these spells on you as well spirit wants you to know that you are excellence here okay um this specifically says black excellence, okay? But you don't necessarily have to be black or African-American here, okay? You could be, even though this says black excellence, you see her face here, you, this this is blank for a reason because you could be of any race here. Spirit, but this is my, uh, this is my star card, okay? You see the stars here up under excellence here. You are, you have some type of talent, skill, or ability, I'm telling you, okay? You could be a designer, an artist, an actress, a model, a poet, a rapper, a singer, a dancer. You could be a writer or an author. You're a superstar, regardless, okay? You've got some type of talent, skill, or ability, okay? You could be a painter. You could draw, okay? You're artist in some type of way here, okay? You are excellence here. And it's the reason why your family is jealous of you, envious of you, have uh, caused all this competition and conflicts against you, have teamed up in schemes of teams with multiple various different people here to, to sabotage you, to ruin you, to, to kill you here. You're going to get some type of messages, news, information, and communication because I feel like other individuals who are not a part of this shit Legit individuals may, you know, it's just way too much information out here. I feel like this was hidden, even when it comes to the people in power, these hidden enemies, these official people in power who was a part of this. I feel like it's way too much information out here for other people who are in authority and in power to look over as to and just say, oh, you know, this is just hogwash. It's just bullshit. Nothing is going on here. I feel like, um, other people see what's happening, what's going on, and have figured out that these people came together to do these things, okay? They have been watching these people or have gathered information in some type of way here to know, to see clearly what these people are doing to you, okay, guys? So I thank you all for listening. I thank you for watching. If you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at TiffanyZiggler60 at gmail.com or at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at shine bright like a diamond with an underscore between each word. For those of you who would like to donate to the channel, it is greatly appreciated and I do thank you in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tiff diamond three six. 
gifts or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when somebody may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. In conclusion, guys, after I have gathered up all the cards, the main card at the top of the deck for each one of these, we have Lover, Sweetheart, High Priestess, Tower, Seven of Swords, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. Somebody has a lover who played pretend like they were a sweetheart, okay? Who is a part of some type of witch covering, secret society, satanic cult or something. Um, who have been secretly, maliciously behind the scenes working against you. They tried to cause a tower in your life. Um, they... Um, try to set you up to be sacrificed to be murdered or harmed in some type of way they have caused all this upheaval in your life um this deception this this the destruction this chaos tragedy in your life here okay um they even wanted to cause your death um there has been some type of uh they wanted to cause shake up of things in your life here they lied they cheated they stole something from you okay and they were trying to sneak and get away with this here okay this person was is too fake it okay they're a manipulator they're disloyal they're um betrayal deceivers um very sneaky okay um type individual but as long as you know how to love you know you will stay alive here okay this person whoever this ex is they didn't they didn't work alone they didn't do this by themselves they worked with a team of individuals from people in your family to various different people that they linked up with okay so I just wanted to give you all the overall message here, okay, of what's going on here, okay? You definitely are dealing with liars, cheaters, and thieves who are sneaking and creeping around trying to get away with something here, okay? They planned, they plotted, they schemed to have you killed, to 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 attack various different aspects of your life from your health, your well-being, your finances, your money, your resources, your job, your transportation, your home, you, your children, um everything your love life your beauty your everything your mental stability okay they did stop at nothing to cause these towers in your life to hurt you to harm you in any way that they possibly could okay these individuals gaslit you while they gang stalked you trying to play pretend like they were sweet and they was innocent they was loving they didn't know anything about anything and they wasn't doing anything but they're bald-faced liars and they know it they were working against you the whole time okay Peace, love, and light, guys.